Okay, welcome to December. Last month you learned a little bit about the uh, screen capture tool. This month we're going to learn how to do some erase and reveal type questions and answers. So here's an example on this page. I just threw some artwork on, just an image of some artwork. Uh, just an example of what you could do and maybe uh, you're going to gradually grab the eraser here and erase more of the artwork. And as you do that, maybe the kids can write down who the artist is or what type of artwork it is, what, what type of medium is used, or what they think the final product is going to look like. So we're, I'm just using the eraser to erase it. And then, of course, when they're finished, they can come up here. And we all know this is Van Gogh. So how do we actually do this? Well, let's go to a new page. So I'm just going to grab a shape here. And you could put images on here, whatever you want. And I'm just going to type in, uh, this is where the answer would go. So the answer would go right in this spot right here. And I'm going to go ahead and make that a little larger so I can actually see it. <clears throat> now, how do we make it so we can erase and reveal that answer? Well, here's the trick. Let me move this down. I'm going to click on the pen right at the top here. I'll click on uh, any of them. It doesn't really matter. But then I go to the Properties tab on the left line style this is the key we want to make it white that's the background if my white if my background was a different color of course you'd want to use that but since my background is white we're going to choose white you can choose the thickness you want to cover it up so like those pictures i used the really thick one uh, but in this case i'll just kind of use uh, this one right here and all i'm going to do is cover that up and now that's covered up I'm going to go back to my uh, arrow here, the selector. So maybe you have a question on here, so it's kind of a self-checking type uh, exercise for the students, or it's a classroom thing. So whatever the question may be, they just come up here, grab the eraser, and they erase, and the answer magically appears. Pretty cool. Um, the thing is, once you erase it, you don't have to go back and cover it up because when you're done with the class, uh, if you're teaching several sections of the same class, you go to the next page. When you're finished with it before the next class, just say uh, don't save changes and it will revert back to your original. So I hope, uh, hope that's something you can use. Give it a try. It uh, works out really well.